we are gonna help you guys to get out of your bracket in this video i'm gonna mention like five tips and if you can just get better at two of them that is gonna be enough for you to get out of herald in um <clears throat> absolutely no time at all It's important for you guys to understand that if you are in Herald, if you are in Guardian, if you are in Crusader, you have a lot to learn and it is not always your team's fault. What we're going to focus on is a good attitude. You should never give up. Don't tilt and just look at yourself and get better. The better you get, the more MMR you're going to get and so on. It will all snowball from there. First of all, I watched a lot of these replays, a lot of these Herald replays, Guardian, Crusader, you know, whatever. I watched all of them and I tried to just give you guys the best possible content and figure out the best things to tell you in order for you to improve the fastest. So let's have a first look at what I can see if I look at five minutes and I open the CS chart in the game. I see a carry PA with four last hits at five minutes, a carry sniper with seven last hits at five minutes, having two band of elven skins but let's not really get into that too much okay we need to get better at last hitting no matter what rank you're in this is going to be a skill that you have to improve on all the time and the skills and the things that i teach you now in this herald video if you make it to guardian you need to take those with you and the things you learn in guardian you need to take with you into crusader you know like it adds up you learn a new thing, you learn new things here and there, but it's also that you need to keep them with you and improve them over time. So let's have a quick look at the CS, okay? You have two carries that have one. The PA doesn't even have one CS per minute. The sniper has 1.4, okay? What you want to aim at, if you can have like, I would say in Herald, if you can have three to four last hits a minute, you're probably doing okay. If you have five last hits per minute in Herald, you're doing amazing. Alone with this, okay? Let's remember, five minutes, this is what the CS chart looked like. Let's look at five minutes and 10 minutes, okay? Five minutes, 10 minutes. The PA has 10, he has 1.2, he has like one last hit a minute. The sniper has two and a half and the other ones have like four at most, okay? This is Herald. Let's have a quick look at a legend replay, okay? Legend is like halfway through. Just to show you, like you guys don't have to last hit like pro players, okay? Remember, remember that, you don't have to do that. And remember also, the more last hits you get, the more gold you have and the easier the game is gonna be. Like if you send a pro player that is not allowed to last hit at all in Herald, we are probably not gonna win that many games either. So let's look at legend, minute five. How many last hits do we have on people? Look, you see it's already getting better. Five minutes, the carry has 20. 24 last hits so he has about you know the top CSers in this game have about five per minute the middle ground has like four and the lower end or like you know the ones that aren't doing too hot they have like three let's look at minute 10 or like nearly five last it's somewhere between four to five last hits per minute at minute 10 or, or like generally speaking four to five last hits per minute this is legend okay in the game we watch in Herald people had like one or two here you're going up to like four and five Let's have a quick look at a pro game replay, okay? Like, how good it can be. Minute five. You have people that have six last hits per minute, the PA. You know, there's four people that nearly have six last hits a minute, which at minute five is a lot. If you get to minute 10 and you have anywhere... Like, if you have below five CS per minute at minute 10, you're not doing well. I would say if you're in Herald, you go to minute 10 and you have like 30 to 40 last hits, you're probably doing okay. If you go above 50 last hits in Herald at minute 10, I think you're gonna increase your win rate by like, you're gonna win twice as much than you are right now. Like, absolutely. Look at these guys. This is a pro game. This is where eventually, if you play thousands of hours, you can get here. The Sven has 10 last hits per minute. The mid Razor 9. PA 7. Lesh has nearly 7. And the others have like 5 and 4. Of course, you're not going to have every core hero have 10 last hits per minute at minute 10. The only reason he can have this many is that his Lesh and Centaur are making space for him, okay? But we need to get better at last hitting. The more last hits we get, the more gold we have, the more we get, the better items we can buy, and so on. So just put these three last hits next to each other at minute 5, minute 10, and just see, like, how big the difference is. And this is not because we're 
so insanely more skilled human beings. It's just that we've practiced this more than you have. So I've watched a lot of these replays, right, as we talked about. So we're back in our Herald game. Um, I've watched a lot of these replays. And one thing that I can see is that... So there's a few things. First of all, I think last sitting, as we've touched on, is the most basic one that will help you the most. Second of all, resources. Like, you need to try to be high mana and high HP. The more HP, the more mana you have, the more options you have. You can use your spells, you can gank, you can counter gank, you can go into a team fight. If you have TP ready and mana and HP, it means that you have all the options open. It means that if you're this Legion, you can not only play here, but you can TP here and you can TP here. So what does this do? This means that the entire map for you, all of this is green because you can go in all of these places and make plays. But right now, without mana, this zone is red. You, how are you gonna get kills in this area if you don't have mana? And if you don't have mana, it means you cannot TP, which means this zone is red and this zone is red. So you can't actually do anything. So even though you're the top network hero, you can't do anything. And on top of that note, you need to send out region in the lane. Like this PA is jungling with 200 HP. So if you go to lane, first of all, buy region. And second of all, if you're dropping low HP, send more. It's pretty simple. Get last hits, use your gold. Step three. Um, just get more familiar with the game. Um, take one thing at a time. Like if you're new to the game, it's okay that you're not going to have so many CS, okay? It's okay that you can have one CS like this PA. It just means you have to play more. You need to get more familiar with the game and, you know, just try to learn over time. If you want to get better at last hitting, play some games, play unranked, play the last hit trainer. It's absolutely fine. Just work on one thing at a time, choose that one, and, you know, try to improve it. So we need to remember if we're in Herald, we need to get more familiar with the game, the heroes, you know, the spells and stuff like that. Since we have to get familiar with the game, it's not that easy for us to choose heroes for us to play yet. But if you see along the way, oh, I really enjoy playing support Rubik and support Dazzle, then go for that. You know, learn the spells, play those heroes. And if you're a carry player, choose your, like, look for like two to three carries you like. If you're an offlaner, two to three offlaners and you get the point, okay? Choose a few heroes and just play them more and more, get used to them and stuff like that. Next up, I would say that there was an overwhelming problem of items. I'm going to show you guys um, a quick replay here. This is slightly higher MMR. This is slightly higher than the one we've just watched. But this is still uh, quite incredible to me, of course. So this is something that we need to look at. Why do I mention items and an item problem in this game? Well, it's the fact that in this game, Dazzle is buying Orb of Venom and Blightstone. Uh, Legion Commander has a Blade of Attack and a Quelling Blade, no region. Um, the mid Zeus has like three clarities, like he should just buy stats and rush bottle. And there were a lot of issues, like Rubik started with a Magic Wand. Uh, Medusa has Glove of Haste and Quelling Blade. So people don't know what items to buy and that's okay. It fits into the category of getting more familiar with the game. But I can highly advise you guys to just go to a website at dota2protracker.com it looks something like this and let's say you want to get better playing legion commander okay let's see you want to figure out okay what do i actually buy on legion commander so here you can see aha uh -huh, this is the item build that this guy goes on legion you click on the dota buff link you copy paste the match id you go into dota watch usually what i like to do is i do this now i see aha uh -huh, okay what did this guy buy what do i need to like learn I'm like, okay, he's Legion Commander. He started the game with, oh, he goes Quelling Blade to help him last hit, a bit of stats, Tango. Uh-huh, what did he do after? Boots, upgraded boots, a few small items, and a Blink Dagger because he wants to Blink Duel, okay? Something like this can already help you a ton because not only are the starting items wrong in a lot of these players, also their build-up items are wrong. Like this guy has a first item, Chrysalis. Uh, what else did I see? Like, Daza has an Orb of Corrosion, which is not good. You have an Ogre who's rushing Energy Booster. And it's like, it's probably hard to know what to do because you we don't know better. Like, we don't know what we should build. So getting more familiar with the game and looking at what people build in general is very good. It will instantly help you to get out of this bracket. Understanding what you want to buy in the start and also throughout the game is good. I would advise you to look at pro players when it comes to that. And second of all, or I would say last but not least, um, there's too many deaths in the low MMR bracket. Like, people just overplay a lot. 
like there's a lot of like weird deaths happening and like random plays uh what i saw in this other pa game is that people are just fighting for like three minutes straight instead of like hitting creeps so let's have a quick look at the pa okay like when the game starts first of all like the pa has to like tp bottom and now like look he's just running after them like the pa can't even have any cs because all he's doing is clicking his enemies and he doesn't care about creeps and then he dies now he tp to lane and now he has tp cooldown so now he has to either walk to lane or wait so it's like it's two minutes into the game and the PA had, like, he didn't even have a chance yet to last with a creep. And that's simply because we're not even looking at last hits, we're looking at these other things. What's important in the lane is to get last hits in the start, go for kills that feel good to you. The easiest ones that will get you out of Herald in no time is step one, improve your last hitting, work on your last hitting, okay? No matter what role you are, support, core, even if you're a support, you need to be able to last it. Because sometimes your carry will die, you need to get last hits. If you're pulling, you need to get the last hits as well. Um, step two, think about your resources and your region. This includes going to lane with region. This includes sending out more region in the laning stage. And this also means like having clarities throughout the game. If, um, you know, having clarities throughout the game when you're going to run around and use your spells. Step three, we need to get more familiar with the game. It's absolutely okay that we're still new, we're learning, that's fine. So give yourself some time to do so. And now um, one of the more important ones as well, step four. There's a huge item problem in the lower brackets of Dota. People don't know what their starting items are. People don't know what they should build throughout the game. So in order to make it easier on you, I, I mean, I do that even sometimes nowadays. Like if I don't quite know what to start with, I can look at other pro players other than myself because maybe they're better at specific hero. So I check, oh, okay, they buy these starting items and they buy these core items. You can copy that for the start to get better, get out of Herald, you know, get out of Guardian and Crusader, work your way up and eventually you're going to start to understand these things. But for starters, you can absolutely copy item builds. Don't do random item builds because it will just hurt your game. If you want to buy items faster, use a hotkey. I use Y. And second of all, you can queue up items. Like here, if you use control and shift and then left click the item, it goes into your quick buy. Now, when I use my button, see, I buy all of these items. So let's say I buy, I want to buy a Helm of Dominator and two mangoes when I get it. So I just queue it up like this. And now I press Y five times, which is my button. Boop, 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 boop. And I have all my items. I don't have to go here, buy one, buy two, buy three. Last but not least, step five, there's just too many deaths. You're going for too many plays. Try to start implementing a little more purpose into your gameplay. If there's five creeps and the kill isn't going to happen within two seconds or whatever, just last hit the creeps, you know, stuff like this. If you're a support player, don't just run into a whole creep wave to harass your enemy. If your whole team is hitting a bristleback and you know you're not going to kill him, just don't hit him. Wait, look for another opportunity and go with that. And last but not least, have a good attitude, guys. It will take time. Choose a few of these things that we just talked about and you will improve in no time. And hopefully I will see you in my coming video, how to get out of Guardian. See you there and thank you for watching.